Lady de Sade, I've been hoping you would come. Your Excellency, I heard news of the attacks against Hikmet. I am ashamed to once again rely upon your kindness, but our situation is quite desperate, and you have proven such a valuable aid to us in the past. How might I be of service to you? Animals, creatures, have been attacking us relentlessly. They throw themselves upon our defenses day and night. They do not even try to avoid our weapons, rushing as if to swamp us in infinite numbers. Our best soldiers fall exhausted from fatigue, the others die shredded by their claws. Please find the origin of these attacks and make them stop. If we cannot hold out, the entire population of Hikmet will be devoured. San Mateus has fallen prey to the same tragic fate. The beasts were answering to a type of guardian we have never seen before. A guardian that has since died. Have the attacks subsided in Hikmet at all? No, not at all. San Mateus is far from here. The origin of the attacks must be different. I sent a small group of trackers so that they might follow the trail of the creatures. Their last message came from a dangerous area in the hands of natives. The savages are certainly at the root of these evil attacks. Who else could have trained all of these creatures? Could you indicate the zone in question? Alas, no. I didn't get the information. You must meet their officer, who will know how to guide you there. She's leading our troops in the outpost at the entrance to the city. Very well. I shall depart immediately. Be so kind as to keep me informed. This affair is driving me to madness. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. Excellency, welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hikmet, and always in the vanguard of progress.
Things are about to get dicey. You managed to make it through. A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defences. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that's why we're here. Governor Burren sent me. He wants us to find a group of trackers. And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody city. But you wanted to ask me something. Like I said, Governor Burren is hoping that I can find a group of trackers with your help. I'd like to see you try. Indeed, I was ordered to send out a party of scouts, which I did, despite our losses. They were supposed to find the bastard who's been sending us these critters. One of those savage sorcerers, no doubt. Can you tell me which way they went? Sorry, Your Excellency, I won't tell you anything until I receive some help. You have to understand, I hope that these men are alive. They are also under my command. But those who are here with me now are my main preoccupation. And as we speak, they're dropping like flies. Not to mention the fact that if this outpost falls, there won't be much left to protect the city. So you can go and tell the Governor that if he wants me to help you, he will have to help us first. I understand that your situation is desperate, that you want to take care of what appears most urgent, but it is not simply about me saving a few men. It is about stopping these attacks once and for all. By getting to their root cause, I intend to put an end to it. And then any help you hope to receive won't be needed any longer. You're right. I'm sorry, these attacks have made me lose my nerve. I don't know what I'm saying. They went towards the west, where the rebels are most numerous. Are you talking about the Donea Extragal? If you like. The governor is certain that these savages are behind the attacks. So I sent my men to find their camp. This isn't the first time that we've tried to find them. But now our survival depends on it. I see. Well, thank you, Captain. I will try to find your man and put an end to all of this. Good luck. And if my men are alive, send them back here, will you? You can count on me. Could you tell me again what it is that you expect from me? We were supposed to receive a shipment of ammunition and medicines, but we're still waiting for it. If you can bring it to me, we would at least be able to heal ourselves and have enough bullets to sustain these assaults. Do you know where this material came from? From your city, New Serene. The caravan transporting it was supposed to pass through here two days ago. It must have been attacked. But with a little bit of luck, its cargo should still be intact. Very well. I will retrace the path. It shouldn't be too difficult to find it. The three of you won't be able to bring the crates back by yourselves. Two of my men will accompany you. Please, hurry. Without them, we're even less likely to hold. We're departing right away. I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Soldiers, are you the ones who were supposed to help me search for the caravan? Yes, Your Excellency. We're ready to leave as soon as you wish. I'm ready. Let's go. We'll follow you.
are tracks of a heavy carriage. They must belong to our caravan. Let's take a closer look. I hope that those who are accompanying the caravan are still alive. You have witnessed the violence of the attacks we are sustaining. They must all be dead. I'm more worried about the oceans. To my help! And death to the others! Watch out! that those who are accompanying the caravan are still alive. You have witnessed the violence of the attacks we are sustaining. <laughs> if they are broken... <laughs> dead they were torn to shreds but the cargo is still here and it looks like it's in good condition as for the carriage it's damaged and without it we'll have a hard time transporting this to the outpost it'll take a little bit of work but i should be able to fix that make it quick i'm afraid that the beasts may not give us a lot of breathing space there it's a makeshift repair, but it should be enough to reach the outpost. We'd do well to depart now. Dragging this carriage won't be easy. Let's go. An attack could happen soon. Here you are. I don't know how to thank you. Our cargo has finally arrived. With this ammunition, we'll be able to hold back the assaults, and the medicines have already given a boost to three of my men. It was not an easy task. So I'm pleased that all this has been useful to you. Here, take this. This is all I can offer to thank you, but I give it gladly. Thank you, Captain. I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency.
Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you the scout sent by the governor of Hikmet? Can't you tell? He was worried that he wasn't getting any news from you and asked me to find you. He wants me to help him put an end to the attacks. Have you discovered anything? Yes. A camp of rebel savages. We suspected there was one around here, and we finally found it. They must be the ones sending us the beasts. They all come from this region, and these barbarians have sworn to eliminate us. So we... You may be right, but I'd rather be certain. I know the leader of this camp. I'll go talk to her. You... You knew of this camp? These savages are responsible for dozens of deaths, maybe hundreds. Why didn't you inform the governor? Because I'm a diplomat, not a scout. You should go back to the outpost now. I'll take care of all this. I wanted to speak to you about the assaults that Hikmet and its outposts have been sustaining. Assaults? We have nothing to do with it this time. My men are not ready to attack the big city. They're not being attacked by men, but by beasts. Dozens of them. So, they are also attacking the Renaigse? That's a relief. What do you mean? The animals are attacking us as well. They throw themselves at any man crossing their path, as if they were enraged. They even throw themselves at the camp's defenses. I had never seen anything like it before. A similar thing was happening west of the island. The animals were led by some sort of guardian. It resembled a Nardaig Menaemon, but its skin was black and covered in ulcers. I have never seen a guardian that fits the description you've given. I don't think they exist. Could a Donegat have done this? You're a typical Renaigse. You don't understand anything. The Nardaig are our ancestors. None of our people would make a Nardaig suffer, even if their heart was black and full of resentment. And yet someone or something is making the beasts aggressive here as well. And we must find it. We? Do you want us to work together? Why shouldn't we? Don't you want to stop this too? That's true. Mal! Our guardian! He had changed! He is attacking our own! What? Come! Follow me! To my help! And <laughs> Move away! Things are about to get messy!
I wanted to speak to you about the Then what the the Why could you not? Why should that's true? My to my help and death to the others.
thing. What happened to our Nardai? No idea. I'm sorry. It left me no choice. You fought bravely, and you did what you had to do. Our Guardian had changed. It no longer recognized its children, and it was the one leading these beasts against us. Something really bad must have happened to it. It resembled the other Guardian I told you about. As if they had the same disease. Guardians don't get sick. They are far more than beasts. And yet you and I saw the same thing. At last, the attack should stop now. What are you doing here? Who are these Renites, eh? Spies? They only came here to discover the source of the attacks. And they thought we were responsible. Why are you still here? You should have gone back to the outpost. I... I'm sorry. We were uncertain that we could trust you. You said you knew these... people. And then we heard cries. And saw the giant creature attacking their camp. And we realized that it was this creature who was leading the beasts. And you discovered that we weren't to blame. Yes. I'm... I'm really sorry. We should go back to the outpost now. But then, if we let them go, they'll tell their leader the location of our camp. You. Are you prepared to swear that you will never speak of this place? You... You saved our comrades and maybe our city by killing this beast, so... Yes. We swear. I hope that they will be true to their word. Fine. They can go. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, Darren. Now, let's go tell the governor of Hikmet about this guardian. Qua awalem seg, Renaigse. And if you find the one who's behind all this, kill him.
Your Excellency, have you been informed? I've been told, yes, that the attacks have ceased. Hikmet has been saved thanks to you. Was it the natives as I suspected? No, they were not the cause, and were also victims of the attacks. Their losses were great. The animals answered to the call of a guardian, whose behavior was totally unlike the others. Exactly like the one who led the attacks against San Mateus. These creatures normally protect the natives, answering their call. Why did this one attack them? Are you certain one tribe is not attempting to dominate the others? I don't think so. The Guardian looked sick. No native would treat such a creature like that. There's no doubt that someone is behind these attacks, but currently I have no idea who it might be. I suspect you will lead the investigation and unravel the mystery, as is your custom. While waiting, take this. It's nothing much, but consider it a gift to thank you for your help. Without you, the population of Hikmet would have suffered terribly. Thank you. I'm happy to have helped you avoid a massacre, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. <laughs>